welcome to my channel today I have some lovely digitals to show you today from Susan Taylor Brown and this particular set of creatures is beautiful drawings by a lovely lady called Gail and I think these are just fabulous because I like to do wildlife journals, I love to have, add animals to my journals. These ones are drawn just so lovely, so natural looking, and they really have character. They've got just that little bit of movement and action in their gait that brings them to life, and I think that's a really lovely characteristic. And it just so happens that they fit perfectly with a journal that I have just about finished. And I thought how nice it would be to just add some of these gorgeous creatures to that journal. So I'll just show you what's in the kit before, before I start. And I hope that the lighting's okay because we're having a storm come across the bay at the moment. So it's you might hear some very loud wind at times it's quite windy and a little bit of rain coming across so I hope that doesn't interfere too much and that you can see them okay so this sheet to begin with is the smaller animals and they are sort of all together on the one sheet so they're a really nice size to cut out if you're going to do uh, little bits of ephemera for your journal and I'll show you in a minute I'm going to make some so I'll show you how to use those now they do come in two colors which I think is great because depending on what you're going to use them with you might want a darker shade which is this sort of inky inky dark black but it's sort of got a bluish tinge to it whereas this one's got a more browner sepia one so that kind of is good for the more antique looking pages so we've got the animals all together then we've got sort of four to a page which is a really lovely size we've got the fox and the deer and the squirrel and this cute little dormouse here Hopefully I'm on the screen and I haven't wandered off. I'll try and stay in the middle. So they come, as I said, in the two shades. So you can see, hopefully you can see on the camera, the different tones. And that gives it a, a different look altogether, depending on what you're working with. But I just think they're wonderful. They come to life so well. I love the bear and the raccoon and the crow and the bobcat they have such delightful little features and I love the way their paws are up and they're heading off somewhere like they mean action business they're off to do something important they're on a mission and this gorgeous turkey I mean isn't she just divine <laughs> little skunk now all these animals are just perfect for the journal that I'm working on at the moment so it just came in the nick of time actually it was very well timed that's in the black oh I'm sorry the sun has just popped through the clouds so now we've got a bit of shadow oh, doesn't that always happen so what we've got here is the lovely footprints and if you can see through the sun I'm sorry about that we have all the animals footprints named to match up with the animals that we've got there so we've got the coyote, the raccoon, opossum, black bear, turkey, grey fox, crow, bobcat, brush rabbit, mule deer, deer mouse and striped skunk so they are wonderful and then what she's added is these great little footprint trails so you could have a whole journal page of the footprints going across your journal which I think would be really really lovely or you can shrink them down and do like smaller sections and I'll show you I have done that here we've also got trails so you've got footprints going 
in a little trail. I think they're gorgeous too. So you could actually use those as tear strips or cut them into strips or you could make washi tape with them. I mean they'd make great washi tape wouldn't they? They would be really lovely as washi tape and you've got those in the light and dark colours as well so that's really really lovely. You've got the small sizes and the larger sizes. So you've got a bit of variety here to choose from which is great because it's flexible to what you're working with. So this is the little footprints that I've, I've printed out for to a page. So you can see there that you can shrink them down and they still work out just fine. So we've got the skunk, we've got the raccoon there. Oops. And there's two different raccoon style trails, patterns. There's the rabbit, the opossum, cute. The deer mouse, which is tiny, how cute is that? We've got the mule deer there. And we have the lovely crow. They're, they're so tiny. So I've printed out six on that sheet just to see how, how it would print if you shrunk them down. So they are really little. But they um, look lovely too. And if you were doing like some journaling cards you might want to make them that small and then do your writing in the middle or a picture or something. Here's the black bear and that's shrunk down to four to a page. And the grey squirrel. So there's loads in this kit. It's quite big. And the turkey. So you've got so much to work with there. And I'll just show you what I plan to do with some of them. What I have today, I've cut out the little critters and they cut out really well so you can fussy cut them all out and have have them all just individually like that if you like. Now these are the smaller size so they kind of work really well for um, journaling, making tags or whatever. So I've cut them out to that size and I thought I'd work with the squirrel. So in my book, which um, I'll give you a sneak peek of, I have done a, a video of this book already, so these will be an extra addition. So this has got a bear, a black bear on the front, and so there's a, a lot of little creatures inside of this book. And I have a tag here, which is a woodland, woodland tag. And I'm going to add the squirrel to that, which is just a collage tag. It's just a normal tag and I've collaged it with some different um, papers and a Tracy label on there from Love Junk Journals. So there's a lot of Tracy labels in here. And I just thought I'd work out where he might like to go. And I think he probably looks nicest sort of on that angle in there so I'll add him to there. Okay so we're back in frame again and just close that curtain so hopefully the sun doesn't bother us this time. Now I was just going to glue the little guy on here that I have fussy cut out. So I'll add a little bit of glue to him and I thought oops a bit of a messy job. Here we go. So I thought we might stick him on the tag like that. So there you go. He looks very cute on there I think. And I'll find a spot to put him in the book shortly. So there he is. Another thought I had was um, to, to sew around a card. So I've just got a piece of cardstock here with a piece of tea, tea stained or coffee stained paper and I thought I would have a lovely raccoon in the middle of that one. So I'll add him, he looks cute. So just remember that 
I've already decorated my pages so these are going to be additions to the pages whereas if you wanted to you could include them in the actual page itself which I'll probably find a couple of pages I can show you how to do that too another thought that I had was you could put them onto pieces of fabric so I've got a little fabric sample here which is just a lovely piece of green sort of curtain fabric and I thought I'd add to that a piece of this lovely muslin or cheesecloth which wants to stick to me instead of the fabric just to give my little rabbit bunny a little nesting spot there to stick down on so and it sort of brings him up off the, the darker fabric and adds a little bit of texture so I'll add him into there like that so there he is he looks quite cute too on his little piece of fabric so that's a little bunny and then if you want to just do use a plain piece of fabric like just this little piece of calico I think this is tea stained calico that I had they actually stand out quite nicely on the calico so I thought the squirrel might go nicely on there and then I'll find somewhere in the book to put squirrel so we'll pop him down to there like that how lovely is he I just love the way that he's in the mid midst of a jump he looks like he's flying through the air even something as plain as that when you actually add it to a page it comes to life so we've got those little guys there now I'll bring the book over and we'll find somewhere for them all to go so this is my book I've been working on and it's quite fat as you can see and I keep adding to it so every time I think I'm finished I'm not finished at all oh yeah so here we have a little spot that I thought would look nice for a little dormouse to go so I, I thought I'd pop the little mouse in there so you can see there I have the little dormouse on the collage page that I've already done there and I had a little space there so I thought the dormouse would look cute so I'll just glue him on there and I'm just using the glitter glue the art glitter glue to put them on with so I thought he just goes nicely in there doesn't he doesn't he look cute and just brings that page to life so I had another spot here that I thought we could use this lovely deer so hopefully you see he's at the top of the page so we might have to move over a bit Okay, so now I think you can see the deer. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh dear, it's really hard when you can't see where you're actually working and you have to guess. I'm not so good at the guessing where the page is. So here we've got a nice deer. And it's a gorgeous deer. It looks so lifelike and the artwork is fabulous. I have to say to the lovely lady who drew these, Gail, you did a marvellous job. They look so lifelike. And doesn't she look lovely on that paper? Now that's just coffee stain paper that has been dried on a biscuit tray that has a bit of rust. So the rust comes up through and makes all those patterns. And we've got the lovely stags on the side there. And I just typed deer across the top so that works in really well for her okay so over here I have a raccoon page and I just thought it would be nice if we put our rocky raccoon that we did into this pocket here so we've got this lovely sewn around pocket trail there and doesn't Rocky look great. Rocky Raccoon 
fits very nicely in there with the other raccoons. So that page just kind of brought it to life. It looks really good in with the other raccoons. So that worked out quite well. Over here we've got Mr. Stinky Skunk. So I think we did Mr. Stinky Skunk on a tag. We did. So there you go, Stinky. So Stinky can go into this lovely pocket here. He works out quite well there. So he fits into that pocket nicely. So it just goes to show that these little guys can pretty much slip in anywhere and still look great. And they, it doesn't matter that you haven't planned the page around them, it's just it just works. So here we've got Gertrude the bush turkey. And what a stunner she is. <laughs> I love her. She's gorgeous. So we've got her figuring into the scenery of this page. I've got a turkey down the bottom here that's sort of like a little pocket. And up the top I had some typing which said Gertrude bush turkey. And just a little bit of muslin or cheesecloth that has been tea dyed. So I thought she would look really nice just on the page like that. Now that's just a white page. There's no tea dyeing on that one. So she just fits in. Well, it just goes to show that they will fit in on any kind of background. So she stands out nicely there. Just make sure her little feet are stuck down. So there you go. She, she works in quite well. Then over here we've got the bears and this lovely, lovely bear. So if I move the book back, sorry about all this backwards and forwards, but to get you close enough to see, I had to come down. A bit. So I've got Grandpa Bear here, and I'll give him a little bit of glue. So he'd go in really nicely with the scenery. We've got a lot of bears in this book. So here we go. Grandpa Bear, there you are. Fitting in nicely with the scenery, again on that lovely coffee dyed, coffee dyed background. I'll just put a little bit more on your toe there so it sits down nicely. There we are. Grandpa Bear. So they fit into the background quite well. You can just add them in anywhere and they just work, which I think is just marvellous. Now, what have we got here left? We've got Squirrel and we've got Bunny. So we need to find a place where Bunny could go. Right, what do we have here? Well, there's a nice spot that a Bunny could go. Right there. So how about that? So can you see that corner? Yep. Okay. So I'll put Bunny, make Bunny just a little tuck spot in the corner. You could poke some small little thing in if you wanted to. So Bunny can go there. And that allows you the space to write all round if you want to. You can write on both sides and still have Bunny there and maybe tuck something small. You've got a little tiny tuck spot there if you wanted to add something, you could. So we're left with Squirrel here. Isn't Squirrel gorgeous? So where could Squirrel go? We need to find a lovely spot for Squirrel. Look how about here? He works out quite nicely with that daisy there. So I think the colours look really good of the daisy envelope there. So yeah, I think that looks quite good there. So we might go with Squirrel over here. So you can just have him as a tab. Or you could have, you could even have like a little belly band if you wanted. But I think I'll just stick him down all over because we've got so many pockets already in this book. It is quite full of pockets. 
Might bring him up a little bit from the bottom because we've got that little flip over there. And he can have his little nose sticking out the side behind that little pocket. So that works out quite well. So there you go. That's a few ideas that I've given you today on how to use these gorgeous little fussy cut animals. I think they're beautiful. I mean, there's your fox. He's gorgeous. And your coyote. And this sweet little opossum. Well, he's just divine, isn't he? Isn't he gorgeous? And we have a lovely crow. So I'm sure I can find somewhere for them to go to if I look hard enough. We can find a spot for them as well. And they do fit into the into the style of the book and they also are, are animals that live in that terrain so they work really well so I hope you go and have a look over on Susan Taylor Brown's Etsy shop and have a look for yourself at these beautiful creatures and remember that there are quite a lot here in the kit and different sizes so I think you'll find that you'll get as much use out of them as me if you're an animal lover especially the native animals and all the little tracks and trails and the fun things that you could do with all of those look at all of those little feet <laughs> just marvellous they really are lovely and they're so detailed and you really can tell what they are so they are wonderful so thank you very much for joining me today and making those little creatures and I'll see you again soon with some other exciting things to look at. <laughs> okay, bye for now.